Well, I'm really proud of being part of the, the Disney legacy, actually, you know, like, that's a really special thing to be able to be in the hearts of kids. And, you know, people forget, adults forget. You know, when an adult sees a movie, it's one of many movies they've seen over the course of their life. But when an eight-year-old kid sees Ralph Breaks the Internet, like, that's, that's a really big moment for them. So I'm really proud to be part of those, all those big moments for kids all over the world, actually. It was really great. You know, Sarah and I have become friends. You know, this job, working for Disney on these two films is the longest span of employment I've ever had in my whole life. So getting to work with the same people over the course of three or four years, and in the, in the case of both films, about seven or eight years now, that's really special. And getting to see Sarah, you know, when, whenever we come in to record, because we record together all the time. Um, unlike some animated movies, you know, that record the actors separately, we're in the same room. So you end up getting really close to people and catching up with them over long periods of time for the, for the highs and lows of their lives. And, uh, it makes tonight kind of special, you know? It's like hard to believe that we're at this moment where the movie's being shared with the world. I got to wear my tweed suit, though. You can't wear this in L.A., you know? You'll, you'll, you'll dehydrate in 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, it's a really great... It's always great to come back to London. I made a couple movies here last year, and I, in fact, recorded some of Ralph Breaks the Internet here because during the course of, you know, the, the time we're working, I was away so long that the guys had to come here and record me. Um, so, yeah, it's cool to be back in London. It was a little strange to be here for Thanksgiving, but, you know, we're doing it for the team. Yeah, it's a really entertaining, exciting movie with, with a lot of jokes in it and a lot of cultural references and a lot of internet references. But in the beating heart of it is the story of this friendship between this guy and this girl. And, um, and they come to a really interesting place by the end of it. They both grow. Uh, in unexpected ways, and they both still love each other at the end, which is a pretty great ending for a friendship. Yeah, Gal Gadot plays Shank. She's the um, she's the a new kind of role model for Vanellope, uh, Sarah Silverman's character. She she's in this really intense racing game, and Sarah's character Vanellope is having growing pains from her own kind of more childlike racing game. And she, we go to this crazy new racing game, and Sarah just falls in love with the place. And Gal Gadot's character is the kind of like the head honcho of that game, her, her nickname is Shank. And um, yeah, and we end up kind of like, Fre Ralph and Shank end up kind of be being the two forces that Vanellope is sort of torn between her old friend and her new friend. And it's one of the cool things that we do in the movie is that we help kids explore this thing that happens with friendships. They grow and they expand and you meet new people and you have to be able to be a loving friend no matter what you're going through together. So that's, that's a really honest and emotional part of the movie. Well, yeah, there was a lot of room to grow for the film, I think. You know, the arcade was, was a great little world to set the first movie in, but it was sort of the elephant in the room was, well, everyone plays games on the internet now. Why wouldn't you address that? And of course, we get to in this film, a Wi-Fi router gets plugged in, and the little world of Ralph and Vanellope expands like infinitely in in one little adventure yeah yeah and i recommend people stick around for the entire credit sequence if you can because there's a there's a great little easter egg at the very very end that uh you'll miss if you leave the theater early <laughs>